Hi, this video is to replace a right hand door handle on a Toyota Prado 150 series. It's been a little bit of a learning curve, but it is very easy. I have not found a video that does it or shows it on YouTube at all. First of all, you have to remove the door trim, which was a bit of a mission to find out how to do it. Um, you have to remove your door trims by just prying them off. Be very gentle, they're all clipped on. There is only three screws holding them on. First of all, one second. So from removing the door, the door trim, basically you remove this uh, plastic cover. There's a screw hole here, another screw hole here, another screw hole here. Remove those screws. Once you've done that, basically on the inside of the door trim, you have your power window and your connection for your door light. Unplug them and you should be able to remove the trim in one go. Also, removing the um, door the door handle assembly, internal assembly cables. Um, the green goes to the the bottom of the connection, and the white to the top. So um, then, after that, to, what I discovered to actually get into the inner door handle to remove the the door handle you have to remove the actual door catch from its position, removing these three screws here. Just lower it down because it's obstructing your way of getting to the that little star head screw, which is a T30, um, to remove the cover to remove the door handle. My door handle was broken because my kids were swinging off it. So basically, once you've done Remove this section, then undone that screw up in there. Basically, this here, pull that back to its last position. Be gentle, everything's plastic, you don't want to break anything. Then basically, you get the door handle. Once that, the cover, this little outer cover has been removed by undoing that screw there, um, you will be able to then slide your handle to the rear of the door and then it'll just all pop out. Um, I found it very easy once I got to everything and pretty much now it's back to assembling the whole door. Thanks. So now I've um, I've just sort of cleaned up the the door handle there. Um, I'm about to uh, put the handle back in, and um, we'll see how we go from here. And I'll uh, give you any details if I have any trouble or what I can do. Right. Up. So the door handle's in. Um, basically, I pushed it in, and then pushed. So the door handle was flush up against the outer door, right there. And then what I done is I actually turned, closed this in on the thing on the the lug of the door handle, which then basically sat it in place. So now the next job is to just put the the cover, do up that T30 and then reassemble the, the door latch. So the door cover has now been installed. So basically by putting it in place with the one little clip on the end, which you may see to the right of that star headed screw, which is a T30. So very simple. I'll be with you soon. So basically after that now, the door handle is fully installed and working. We just now need to install the um, the latch where it actually closes and, and we can lock it or, yeah. So I'll pull that into place, replace those three screws on the end and then connect everything up. 
So I have now just uh, put it in place with the screws just slightly holding it in place. Um, so you've got a connection there that needs to be in that hole. Now down in here, whether you can see this, but this, this here, that there needs to have that metal pin. So when you slide it into place, that metal pin needs to be in between that plastic lever. I'm guessing it's got something to do with the locking me mechanism. So, once all this is completed, your three bolts at the end there are tightened up, everything is in place. Replace your, your door trim cover, your plastic to seal it up. Make sure your your cables are in the, the top. Your cable comes through there for that, that plug. Um, and then it's time to replace your door trim. So, everything's ready to go now. Um, I've put the uh, your cables back into the door handle. So the white at the top, green at the bottom, like I said before. Um, yeah, where is it? There, sorry. Bit hard to video while I'm doing this backwards. Um, your power window cable, and then your door light here. So it just connects in there. So now we will just put it on the, uh, hang the door trim on, and we'll see how we go from there. So getting the um, door trim back on, Took a little bit harder than I first thought, so I actually wound the window down, um, which allowed me to maneuver the door trim from both sides, so that I was able to get in and lever the, not put force on it, but just be able to tilt the door trim to actually get the catches to um, hold onto the metal part of that door frame. Um, but it's on now, so basically we can go ahead and. Clip it all back in place now, like that, so it's actually on there, we just need to put a screw there, 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 and then replace all our covers. Um, as you can see, the window's working, everything's connected, door handle's working. All fixed. So. Simply replacing them by pushing those covers back on after we put those screws in, all job done. So now I've, I've replaced that trim cover. So basically just got to put this back in. So a bit hard to do it on my, just slide it in like that. And it just pops in place like that. And one door trim all back on with a new door handle that is not broken from children. Make sure your children aren't rough with it. Thanks for uh, watching my video and uh, I hope this helps you uh, fix your door handle. Cheers. Have a good day.